don't know how to start. The, um, the 489th were in Halesworth <coughs> during 1944 between, oh, I think they started to arrive in April and their first mission was the 30th of May. <laughs> So now that the 49th has stood up and is, is part of the 7th Bomb Wing, that mission, we're going to, out here to support uh, NATO days and ample strike uh, exercise. So now the 489th has returned um, and the 49th flagship uh, will be based out of Fairford to fly these exercises. Uh, so it's, it's awesome to know that the 49th has returned. I came out uh, back in April with my first visit back to the original 49th where our history started with the 49th Bomb Group back in World War II, uh, met a lot of the friends of the 49th that uh, take care of the Halesworth Museum. On this trip, Colonel Hines is over with us to see everything, see the sights. You see the flag, the 489th. Now this windsock, this windsock pole, it, um, it's been brought off the airfield, that's the original one from the airfield. The top of the memorial shows the airfield and the spot we're standing on, we actually, that was the line of this, this runway. It goes straight across there. Well, the Friends of the 489th was actually born out of the, um, the memorial being built because I think this is the chap, Paddy Cox, who was on the parish council, he and Tony Kerrison and I think Sid George, um, John Baker, Sue and Len, they all got together, formed a committee and um, we joined later and that's when we then started to make our own 489th reunions when we welcomed back the airmen and um, people in the, in the town hosted them, they stayed at the Angel and they also stayed in people's homes. Um, and we had a week of festivities. And then uh, at these reunions, the veterans said, oh, I've got a so-and-so at home. Would, would you like it? Would you like it? So some people, like Tony and what have, had artifacts and they said, well, we ought to put these in a museum. There's photograph albums in, in the museum which chart these reunions and you, you, you can see all our veterans came back and they remembered and they, oh, they talked together. And that's when the story started to come out. Well, obviously heritage in the Air Force nowadays uh, with historians and, and trying to keep that heritage alive. Uh, the 49th had a very short history, roughly two years um, in combat. Uh, so as I was doing my homework, knowing that we're gonna be the 489th and um, pushed to have the unit stand up on 17 October of 2015, which is 70 years since they deactivated. Uh, I got to read several of the, the books were written by uh, air crew members uh, and learn some of the history. And it was, it was hard to find because uh, it had such a short history, but it did have a rich history. And so now to come here and to see uh, the memorabilia, the museum is just loaded with artifacts and the history and a lot of stuff that I've read about and heard about to get to physically see that. Uh, it's just amazing. You can't ex uh, explain that feeling that I have being part of that history now. Now, this is the triple plea. They were given um, a painting of the Sharon D. It's 1985, I think. These two came from um, I.D. Brown. He's on the photograph here with Jack McMullen's crew. The wedding dress. The wedding dress is made out of parachute silk. It was given to us by the wife of pilot Jack McMullen, who flew in the, the plane that had the shamrock or clover leaf on its nose. It was made from a parachute that Jack had brought back from the war. And this dress was featured on BBC television. I was asked on my prior visit, since uh, the new 49th has now stood up, to continue the history of the 49th. And being the first E9 of the 49th, I was asked to, uh, if I had any articles to donate to the museum, which I did. I brought them some, some uniforms, pictures, and, and a bio to kind of give my history to uh, keep the 49th moving. 
And this is Ed Miles and his son Robert. 1996. And I think that you took the photograph at the Triple Plea last night to email to Ed Miles because Ed had told Ricky he must go to the Triple Plea. As you can say, last night obviously we got here, we spent the night. Um, the Angel Inn was here originally, you know, during World War II. The Triple Plea uh, is right here at the end of the field. Um, it's kind of nostalgic to think uh, that you know, 72 years ago, the members of the 489th would, would frequent that pub and go have dinner. And then we were there last night. Um, in fact, there's one of the photos I took, tried to stand in the same spot from that picture from 72 years ago. Uh, it's just interesting to know that the, they walked those grounds before we walked there. So we, we enjoyed our time last night of being part of the 49th.